person called Kathy Lieberberger, also known as Kathy, but the whole on all my social media platforms. On Instagram, it's Kathy, but the whole. On Facebook, it's Kathy, but the whole. On TikTok, it's Kathy, but the whole. 16, and here on YouTube, guess what? It's Kathy, but the whole. Thank you so much for tuning into this video, guys. Before we move any further, kindly like, share, comment, and especially subscribe to the channel. Help me grow this little baby. <laughs> Yo, guys, welcome to the new Sunday weekly vloggy vlog. I hope you guys didn't miss me too much. I did drop a another video but it was a chit chat i hope you guys enjoyed it i was very very nervous actually i'm not sure if i'm going to actually post it but i might just post it because you know what i'm just conquering my fears right now <laughs> i'm in a season of my life where i'm just conquering my fears i am being courageous even if you guys laugh at me i will just work on it please constructive criticism if you guys can be nice be nice guys i'm very sensitive <laughs> But yeah, it's a very, I'm really, it was just out of my comfort zone, so I was very nervous during the video. But yeah, so this is a new vloggy vlog. It's a Saturday, the 3rd of August, and we are getting ready to go out and play. So that, I actually asked my man out. Like, I'm like, you know what, babes, I don't want to be in the house on a Saturday. So can we just go out so he's the princess today <laughs> he's the princess because i'm the one Grace, who the Grace. okay he's the prince <laughs> he's the prince today because i'm i'm apparently i'm driving a day and apparently i'm paying for the bill which sucks because i'm just a little girl <laughs> but i'm just gonna pay for the bill and drive him away and yeah so i wanted to take you guys with and just have a good nice Saturday, guys i haven't been out in a long time guys this week this week was so hectic at work like i need this time out i need this adult time out guys so yeah guys um i'll catch you guys once we come back yeah i think i'll talk to you guys once we come back for now enjoy the b-roll <laughs> i 
I'm in them pants as soon as I land. Just know I roll with them goons. In case you start acting familiar, this kind of love. Big Ben, this whole slab I care for. Know that booty gon' do what it wants to. They ain't hit it one time. It's a boy. Know you see this red, red, red on me. Now come and get high, 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 high. 20, 40, 80 off the trap. Hit it with the rap. Put it on the rap. Right back. Happy Sunday! I hope you guys are having a fantastic Sunday and that you had a wonderful weekend, that you are well rested, you spend time with the people that you love, you spend time with God. Guys, I didn't go to church today. Actually, I haven't been to church in like, I think over a month at this point. Hmm, that's bad. But I do still pray and listen to sermons. In fact, that's what I'm going to do today because I didn't go to church today. So I'm going to listen to a sermon, praise and worship, spend time with God because I want to cook. I'm going to make my dombi today. A friend of mine told me in the morning, like, I'm making my dombi for my family. And I was like, well, you know what? I think I should try that as well. Hey, guys, it's like, who? Hey. I'm not that great at Madombi, but I am going to try. I am going to really try my best. But first, I have to clean the kitchen because it's a mess from me making breakfast in the morning. And then I am going to make Madombi with you guys. Please don't judge me, guys. I am really trying to learn how to make Madombi because I really love Madombi, but I don't know how to make Madombi. Anyways, guys, let us get into it.
I don't know what kind of my dome you that is, but I don't even know if it's eatable. I did have a bite and it had this. <laughs> I really suck at making my dome and I thought about making rice for my boyfriend so that he doesn't have to eat this mess. But I was just like, I'm too tired. He's just gonna have to eat this chutneys and <laughs> this beef stew. <laughs> But usually he eats anything that I make, even if I was to make sand for him, he would eat it. So I feel bad because I know he's gonna finish it. <laughs> but I know he's not gonna enjoy it. <laughs> yes. Somebody needs to teach me how to make my dungi. I went to my mom and we we did it together. That's like I think last year or the year before that. I still can't get it. Like I still can't get it. I think I'm gonna ask my mom again for a re teach or re-lesson i don't know how to say it but i i need it i need a redo yes that's what i wanted to say a redo i need a redo because what is this what is this anyways i'm just gonna sh i just i show it to you guys actually because at the end of the day i want to be as real as possible i thought about like hey let me just crush out this whole cooking segment but i'm just like oh listen listen you guys are gonna have to just deal with the real me <laughs> anyways guys i didn't even listen to my sermon and do my praise and worship because what did you guys hear that part that i actually recorded for you guys about a lady who was dating this guy bought the guy a car and then she couldn't even use the car and she found the boyfriend with a girl in the car when she went to confront them the boyfriend gave the that the side chick the gun to shoot his girlfriend that bought him him a car and then the, the girl forgave him he still actually um who had to hit the girl with the car she actually had to go get her neck amputated and still married to the guy Yo, what a mess. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. So I was listening to the whole podcast. I think it's about two hours. I'm just like in disbelief. Like, what? What? Yo, anyways, guys, um, let me call my boyfriend. Yo, and we'll eat this food. And then I think I'll ask him to read the food. <laughs> But wow, guys. Anyways, I'll catch you in a little bit. Don't talk to me that way. Don't talk to me just finished having our dinner and as i promised you guys i want to ask my man to rate my food today and i want him to be honest <laughs> Why you at me like anyways can you please rate for but i'm not gonna be oh, i'm gonna give my honest, honest opinion honest opinion very very honest Mm, 
nine out of ten. Reason being, uh, everything was perfect. I loved the morava, loved the stew. Uh, out of the three dumplings that you had this for me, only one. No, gotta get a. Did you know? AKA Chappies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say that. Be honest. Yeah, I'm being honest. Nine out of ten. Matt out of ten. Mm, it's not a bad thing in love. That's why I finished it. If it, if it wasn't that great, I wouldn't have finished it. I only did not finish your nature piece. I want to to make some chapice. I want to to make some chapice. No, 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 mm, not always. I was expecting like a four or five because I actually rated a four. Okay. Why well, you rate your own food? Ah, I don't know. It's a thing. No, it's not a thing. Nobody, <laughs> nobody rates their own performance. There should be. Well, uh, I do, I guess. No. Because obviously, you got to have a personal opinion. The longer it's biased all the time, whether it's positive bias or negative bias. Okay. Yeah. Alright guys, Lemu Tinabatong are a nine out of ten. Which I think is the right. Hey guys so i was editing my vlog this vlog and there's a clip that just really annoys me so much <laughs> that's the one that i was having a conversation with you guys and i was telling you guys about the podcast i was watching and i couldn't stop saying what is it actually and i'm like why <laughs> why guys forgive me for that actually actually actually
anyways um so it's a tuesday i just got ready for work and i made a breakfast smoothie guys i'm really trying to be consistent with my fitness and health journey if you guys watched my video my chit chat video i did mention that i struggle with consistency i will start the journey and then in a week's time i am so done with it but this time i really am going to push this is my second week but on the weekends i eat and you know i consume alchemy hell but during the week i'm really really trying to be disciplined to make sure that i do exercise and then i have my um green juice and have my couscous i have couscous and and just chicken breast for what is it called for dinner so yeah let's try and lose this mukaba guys december what's in i want to be a hot girl okay <laughs> anyways let me show you guys my outfit and then i don't i don't want to talk to you guys when i do that so i'll just show you guys a be roll and then i'm headed to the office okay guys later <laughs> Hello my Lemmies, I'm here to sign out and say goodbye. I know that there wasn't much going on in this vlog, but I am trying to be as realistic as possible. So yeah, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry that there wasn't enough content, but I do hope you guys still enjoy this vlog. I am sitting on 99 subscribers right now and 19 videos, so this one is my 20th video. I'm hoping that after posting this one, I will have a hundred subscribers guys i am so excited about a hundred subscribers i can't even believe it i know for a lot of people they'll, they'll be like uh, especially living in an influential life you know bigger youtubers you know people with like a hundred and some a hundred k you know upwards like well my one million subscribers but for me to get to a hundred as some as a I don't want to say as a nobody because I'm not really big on any kind of social media platforms. I think I have like 2.3 um, followers on Instagram and 300 and something on Facebook. You know, TikTok, I think I have 30 something if I'm not mistaken. So I'm really not that big on social media. Um, <laughs> I'm really not that big at all. I am not popular. I am not anything. I don't want to say anything special because I am kind of special, you know. But I guess to you guys, I'm just a commoner. <laughs> so for me to reach 100 subscribers, it's literally like, what? 100 people have subscribed? Guys, 100 people are, is a lot of people. That's a big number. Because if you were to put 100 people in one room, that's a lot of people. So I'm actually very proud of myself. And I just want to say thank you guys so much. And when I say I love you guys, I really, really mean it. Because you guys are healing a part of me that was broken for a little bit, you know, for a while. And I don't think you guys understand how this channel is so soothing to me and like i said healing to me 
I desired to do this for a very long time and I tried so hard not to do it but I eventually forced myself actually my boyfriend literally forced me to do it because he could see that it's like a piece of me wasn't complete I don't know why I still continued having this desire after so many years I think over seven years of me having this desire of having a YouTube channel and not following through with it but it still just never left me like the desire just never left me and I went on to do so many other things but this the desire was still there to start my YouTube channel I really don't know why God gave me the desire and I'm just being obedient to what I love and I'm realizing now that it's healing so much in me you know guys I think I'm being a bit emotional <laughs> but i'm just saying thank you guys thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys don't know how much it really means to me but yeah let me just let me just sign out guys before i start crying and stuff anyways i love you guys so much and please don't forget to like share comment and especially subscribe to my channel help me grow this little baby and thank you for helping me grow this little baby i love you guys so much so we'll be again bye